Animate from Audio is a free tool from Adobe Express that allows anyone to just go to a website, record their voice, and have a character animation automatically generated for them. Now, the cool part is recently, we've made some changes and some new updates uh, that allow you to do even more with your characters. So now you can take your characters from Animate from Audio, bring them into a full uh, Adobe Express project, and do all sorts of cool things with them, including multiple characters talking back and forth to each other, layering things in front or behind a character with transparency, all sorts of things like that. So if you're looking for the easiest way to make a free animated cartoon online, keep watching. So if you haven't tried the Animate from Audio Quick Action, the link is in the video description below. And uh, this has been a huge success. People are loving this. Um, we've continually added a ton of characters um, to this. So you have all sorts of new options that you can use here, um, as well as a bunch of backgrounds and of course, different sizes for social media. But if you haven't tried it before, it's super simple. All you have to do is pick your character background and size and go ahead and click the record button. So I'm gonna just say a quick thing about Adobe Express. Hey everybody, Told the Gat here, and thanks for checking out Animate from Audio from Adobe Express. Check out all our quick actions and have fun creating. See ya. So Adobe Express is gonna analyze that audio and it's going to create a custom automatic animation for me. The character is gonna move around, do different hand poses, eye gestures, head movements, all sorts of things, and the lip sync is all gonna line up with the different mouth shapes that are being said. So this makes it really easy to create a fun, compelling social media animation really quickly. And if I liked how this looked, I could just click the download button and you know upload it wherever I want and be done with it. But I wanna do a little more, so I'm gonna go ahead and click open in Adobe Express. So now this video has been brought into an Express project, which means I can do a lot more with it. I could uh, you know, add additional scenes. I could select this video and change the volume or the opacity or add effects, like for example, an animation where it like slides into place or maybe spins or something like that. Um, all sorts of different options that I have here. The most common thing though is gonna be to layer other things on top of it. So if I go to text, for example, let's go to add your text here and let's just say, congrats, Adobe Express. Oops, if I could spell, there we go. And let's just move this down like this and here. And maybe I'll change the color. Let's see, how does white look? That looks pretty good. I might add a drop shadow underneath that, uh, something like this lift here. And I'm gonna change the color because um, a black shadow is kind of boring. Let's do like a blue shadow or something like that. That works pretty well. And maybe classic, that looks pretty good. And then maybe I want some little fun elements around here. So let's go ahead and search for congrats uh, and see what comes up. I've got some nice bursts here that I could add, make those bigger, whatever I want, layer that over top. Maybe I'll add a little animation of a loop um, to make this you know, spin or something like that. Um, I can also add an animation here to my text as well, just to make it feel a little more lively. Let's have it kind of pop into place. And now you see, I've got this, you know, more uh, multimedia uh, project that I've created here. Um, I've got my character, but then I've also added text, animated elements, um, all sorts of different things that I can add in here. And I could of course keep layering over and over and adding more stuff. And when I'm finished and happy with how this looks, I just go to download and I can very easily download this uh, at whatever you know resolution I want and sizing and I'm good to go. But there is one limitation with this, and that is my video is one you know, basic square. Um, I don't have any control over the background. So for example, if I wanted this, uh, this little you know, sparkly firework to show up behind my character, I can't do that because if I tried to move this in the layer order, it's gonna go behind the video. I can't have it go be sandwiched between my character and the background because this is all one you know, piece of video footage. But luckily there's a way around that and it leads to some pretty interesting creative results. So let's pick another character here. I'm gonna go with the goat. I love this character. He just looks so ridiculous. I love those eyes. And let's put him like that. And then for the background, what I'm gonna do is instead of a background or custom color or anything like that, I'm going to choose transparent. This is going to be able to send to this character uh, to express without a background as part of it. So I'd go through the normal process. I'll just go ahead and record uh, some audio again. Hey everyone, welcome to Adobe Express Animate from Audio. It's fantastic. 
Okay, so once I get my preview step, I can see my character here with all the automatic animation and lip sync and everything with the transparent background. And I'll notice that download is not an available option when I've set a transparent background. Uh, the only option that is available for this is open in Adobe Express. I have a little warning here that tells me why that's the, uh, the case. So if I did wanna download this, I could just click back down here and go back and add a background if I wanted to. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna go open in Adobe Express again. And now I've got my character with the transparent background behind him. So I could go into like media, for example, let's look for a video background. Let's look for like um, grass or something like that and see if I can find something there. Okay, um, maybe something like this, this 19 seconds of grass uh, going. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this, bring this in. Let's make it a little bit bigger like this. And now I'm gonna put my character above this and you'll see that now I've got my character with a transparent background. So now we have the ability to put things in between these two layers. So let's just uh, type, uh, add your text and let's type Adobe Express and make that bigger. Probably choose a slightly nicer looking font. Let's go with uh, maybe this guy and we will change the line height a little bit to something like that. Okay, that's looking good. Let's make it white. And right now it's showing up in front of the character, but let's put it behind him instead by dragging it over here. And now you can see that uh, it's showing up uh, as I would expect behind him. And then I can do the same thing with uh, you know my elements like I did before. So let's take um, maybe this trivia looking thing, bring it in here, make it a little bit bigger, and let's put it as a looping animation. Uh, let's have it just spin around like we kind of did last time. And again, I'm gonna put this behind my goat character, uh, move that goat character above. And now when I play this back, I've got the grass, I've got Adobe Express, I've got this thing behind him. Uh, it's a little bit ridiculous, but it looks okay. Now this is going a little bit longer and he's gonna disappear because the video I put underneath him was about 19 seconds. Uh, so I'm just gonna make this a little bit trimmed in and that's gonna look a little bit better. So you can kind of see how this would work, right? You can put now a character over top of whatever you want. So um, let's say instead I wanted him to be, you know, at a baseball game. He looks like he's at, a, you know, a baseball park or something like that. So let's just search for an image. Of course, I could upload my own image, but uh, let's just go here and type in baseball and do something like that. And maybe here's a field uh, that he's talking at, something like this. And again, I can make this bigger in the background. Uh, again, drag my goat above in the layer order here. And now I've got a character talking about something baseball related. So if I went to text and you know talked about uh, a game, uh, something that's happening today, game night, right? Bring this in, resize it, something like that. I can of course, uh, you know, customize all this text for whatever um, I want, change the color, all that sort of stuff here. And you know, within just a few minutes now, I've got an animated character talking about my Little League Baseball game or uh, whatever I want. And that just opens up a ton of really cool creative possibilities for you. Um, so I really love this transparency option. I think this is um, incredibly uh, helpful for just layering stuff and different elements. And you can get really, really complicated with this, uh, you know, layering all sorts of different things. And that includes, you could have multiple characters talking to each other as well. So let's give our goat friend uh, someone to talk to. Uh, maybe this hot dog is a good one, Frank the hot dog. And I'm just gonna record him saying something right now. Um, I'll show you how I deal with the timing of characters talking back and forth in a second. But just for the sake of showing you how this works, I'm just gonna record something really quick. All right, so yet again, I've got a preview with transparency here. I'm not able to download, but I am able to open in Adobe Express. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now I've got this character that I could bring in to my other project. Now, I can't just uh, copy him right now, press Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows. It's gonna say, you need to make an edit to the project. So I'm just gonna move him for a second and that's gonna automatically save it. It's gonna say saving your project in a second, project saved successfully. Okay, now I can copy him. And again, I'm just gonna select him here on the canvas and press Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows. And then in my previous project, I'm just gonna press Command V on Mac or Control V on Windows. And now look, I've got my second character here who I could resize, 
bring down. I'm going to use this little flip uh, horizontal uh, little thing icon over here to have them facing the right way so they're talking to each other. And now I've got a little cartoon with two characters who can talk back and forth or over each other, uh, however you want. And this is an incredibly easy way now to get multiple characters into the same scene. And I could keep doing this. Uh, I guess at a certain point, it would get probably slow performance if you have you know three, four, or five characters. But I think two characters is totally fine and should work pretty well. Now, realistically, if your two characters are talking over top of each other, it's not going to sound good, right? They're going to be, you typically want only one character talking at a time, and then the other character paused and listening to them and then responding to them. So what's the best way to do something like this? So there's a number of ways you could go about doing your audio recording and editing to get it ready for something like this. I'm just gonna use Adobe Audition here because that's what I use for all my audio editing, but honestly, any audio editing program should allow you to do this sort of thing. So you have a choice. If you wanna do the two voices yourself, you can just record yourself alternating back and forth between them, or you can, of course, get a friend and have you all go back and forth and record your voices together uh, however you want. For purposes right now, I'm just gonna record both voices together. So let's press record. Hey goat, have you heard about the baseball game this weekend? Oh yeah, I can't wait. I'll see you there, okay? All right, buddy, bye. Okay, so I might trim the beginning and end off. I'm just selecting areas here in Audition and pressing delete. And then I basically need two versions of this audio track. I need one that is only going to be the hot dog talking and one that's only gonna be the goat talking. So for that, I'm gonna save two extra versions of this uh, waveform. So I'm gonna go to File, Save As, and let's call this one Goat, and then File, Save As, and we'll call this one Hot Dog. Now in addition, it just thinks I'm renaming things, so I'm just gonna double click here and import my goat as well. So now I've got both of these, goat and hot dog. And now all I have to do is basically silence out the parts where the character isn't speaking. So for goat here, I remember the hot dog was talking at the beginning. So I'm just gonna select this, right click and go to silence. And now there's nothing there. And same thing with the end, I'm gonna right click and go to silence. So now I'm ensured that this only has the goat speaking. So I can save that, that looks good. And let's do the opposite for the hot dog. So I'm just gonna take out this goat part and I'm going to do silence for that. And there we go. And I will again, save this. So now I'd have to go through the automatic animation process again, but what I can do is instead of pressing record, I'm gonna click browse right here and I'm gonna find those audio files. So let's see, I've got hot dog here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click open and it's gonna analyze it with that audio file that I've already recorded. And whether you're creating a new project or copying and pasting this character into another one, you are do exactly what we did with transparency just like before. Okay, so now I've got the hot dog. He's starting it at the beginning. It's very important to get the timing right, right? You want your, um, your characters to start at the same time so everything will line up correctly. So let's go back and do the goat as well. So again, I'm gonna select the goat this time. Instead of record, I'm gonna click browse and I'm gonna find the goat's audio and click open. And just like before, copy and paste, bring my goat character in here, resize him. And now let's see what it looks like when these characters talk back and forth. Hey goat, have you heard about the baseball game this weekend? Oh yeah, I can't wait. I'll see you there, okay? All right, buddy, bye. So this is a really basic example, but you get the idea. You could take this concept and do all sorts of things. You could, you know, have multiple scenes of characters talking. So imagine I go to a new scene here. Let's just click add scene. And I, you know, either use the same background or a different background. And then I bring my characters back in saying something different. Maybe it's a close up of one of the characters. So maybe I take my goat, go over here. This is a different instance of him, let's say that something else that I've recorded and I make it a little bit bigger. And then I say, okay, now I want a close up of my hot dog uh, saying something else. So let's add another scene and we'll do our hot dog here and back and forth. And 
you, you understand what you can do. You can create your own cartoon this way uh, by having these two characters talk back and forth. And for instances like this, where you just have one character speaking, um, it'd be pretty easy. You could just record without having to do the uh, additional audio stuff that I showed you in Audition or whatever program you're using. And then only for the ones where they're talking back and forth, would you have to do something where uh, you have the two different voices and two different audio files. So I hope this shows you, you've got a lot of creative control. You've got a lot of power here at your fingertips and you can make really fun animated cartoons for social media uh, by just following these sorts of simple steps. So try to mix it up, try some camera changes, try some close-ups, try text in the background, have your characters back and forth, have your friend help you and do a voice. Um, it will lead to some really, really fun stuff. And uh, it's, it's just so cool that all of this is completely free and could be done on a Chromebook, an iPad, an iPhone, desktop, whatever. Um, it just opens up a ton of really cool creative possibilities. So I would love to see what you create with this. So please, when you're sharing stuff on social media, use hashtag character animator. And that way myself and the rest of the team can see what you're up to and uh, get inspired by all the cool stuff that you make. Uh, but that's it for today. Hope this was helpful. And uh, thanks for watching and have fun.